Few months ago, I've shown a video of how to find compatible motherboards and graphic card. In this video, I will show you how to find the best graphic card for your motherboard. I'm making this video because one of my viewers have asked me this question and the specific question was with regards to ASUS H97 Pro motherboard. I'm gonna use this as an example but you could follow the same method to find your graphic cards that would be compatible with your motherboard. Let's get started. First, as I've shown in the previous video, you need to go to this website. In this website, now instead of searching for graphics card, we need to first find the motherboard. So in the top, just select motherboard. Some people also say they can't find their motherboard in here or the graphic cards. The trick is, in this corner, you should see a place called price. All you need to do is say, here is a question, include items without price? You should say yes, then it will show you every possible option. Then if you scroll down, you might not find the name of your company here, but then if you click on show all, you should find all the companies. So this example, we are going for ASUS, which is here, so click on that. Obviously new example, select the company that you are interested in, and we can leave the rest as it is. Instead of typing the full name, just type part of the name, which was H97 in this example. After typing H97, press enter. Here it shows you H97 different version and for this example, as requested by one of my viewers, it's a pro. So select that motherboard, just click on that. So we got the motherboard sorted. Now we are trying to find the best compatible graphic card so you need to go at the bottom in here and select compatible GPUs. There are two big companies who make GPUs. You can watch my other video in the description which discuss whether AMD is better or Nvidia and the conclusion would be Nvidia is better. So I will select Nvidia. Nvidia's sorting is a bit confusing, just bear in mind. The higher number doesn't necessarily mean a better graphic card. So for example, GE Force 9000 series is worse than 600 series and 20 series is better than 600 series. But 20 series is better than 10 series. So the smaller the number, the better the graphic card. So the best in this range, we would select 20 series. So we got few options and all got very good reviews and compatibility which is 10 means very high and from this list you can see the best graphic card would be GE Force RTX 2080 Ti SLI or just Ti they would be very similar so if I select GE Force RTX 2080 you can read its specification it was released in 2018 it is 1350 megahertz speed it got more than 11 GB RAM and it's more than 4k maximum resolution and other specification that you find it useful so this way you know this was released in 2018 and for example RAM you can understand very quickly that it's a good graphic card by just looking at the specification but if I go to this one for example and select RTX 2070 it was also released the same time but you can see the RAM is lower it is 8 GB and the other one was 11 GB and if I go to 10 series and select the latest you can see the release was 2017 and year prior and the RAM is 11 GB, but the maximum resolution is a bit lower. Let's see, 1680 by 4320, and it is just 3200. Hence, I would recommend going with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. And then you can search for its price. If it's too expensive, you can obviously just open any one of them and check them again whether the performance is what you want and then check that against the price that is there in the market and make your decision based on that a very quick way of finding what's better is at the end it says in here 11 gb just like this viewer have asked me this question if you have any question put that in the comments below and i will try to get back to you i hope this video was useful 
if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel i hope to see you in my next video bye bye